it was going on, I wanted to talk about Linux Zorn 9 for a couple minutes. And the reason I wanted to do this video this soon is because when I release my blog post talking about why Linux Mint is a great distro to transition from Windows onto using Linux, a lot of the feedback I got was asking why did not include Zorn, which does a lot to push toward that comfort zone of Windows users. I've used Zorn before I did Mint, before I did that article, but I figured out I, I would at least show some attention to that, knowing that Mint, Linus Mint Cinnamon, even though it's pretty good Zorn, it does a little bit more. Linux Mint Zorn, as you can see here on distrowatch.com, it's Debian, Ubuntu based, it's number 13, it's very popular. I'm going to be talking about, as I said, Zorn OS 9, which is the dependable long-term support version. If you want, you can check out 10 on your own. It's, it's just got newer stuff, maybe not as, as stable, but Zorn does, like I said, Zorn does a lot for the comfort zone of Windows users. What you see here is just my wallpaper and a conky plug-in. For anyone that cares about that, it just shows your stats of your computer, your network, and you download Conky Manager and you can play around with that stuff. But I want to show you the customization real quick. You see this is my custom toolbar, but for changing it up for anyone, the only thing I have to do is go to my menu, System Tools, Zorin Look Changer, Windows 7. Okay? And even though it's a little flashy in a way, it's you look, you see the start menu, you see the toolbar set up, and the same thing for XP and GNOME. All right, Zorn comes with a lot of things, most of what the average user would need right out the box. No, you don't have Microsoft Word, uh, Microsoft Office, but you do have LibreOffice, which has a spreadsheet, uh, spreadsheet program, uh, Word program, PowerPoint. As you see here, I have WPS. I just prefer it because it's a little bit more elegant. It also has PDF reader events. I believe that's how you pronounce it. They also have Firefox installed, but they make it more than easy enough for you to download whichever one is your favorite. A nice little app here. You don't even have to go to their software center, you don't have to go online or anything. And for the mu music player, they have Rhythm, Rhythm Box, which is it's pretty good. I'm not a big gamer, so all I can tell you is right now is that it includes Wine and Linux, play on, Wine and Play on Linux, out the box. You don't have to download it, it's already there. I can't say too much about how to use it, because I don't use it, but I'll say a little bit more about that probably throughout the next couple months. I use a dual screen, I have a TV or secondary monitor connected at all times. I didn't have to do anything for that. I have an audio interface that I use for music production. I didn't have to download any drivers for that. It worked out the box. Or a print screen. They have screenshot installed. I prefer Shutter. It just allows, to, allows me to do more immediately after the print screen or before I even take a print screen. It allows me to choose which window or display I, I choose. They also have GIMP, which is a free open source alternative to Photoshop. I prefer Penta simply because it's very simple. 
similar to MS Paint and that's all I need. They also have OpenShot Video Editor which to that I actually prefer KDE and Live and as, as I've said they do a lot to make things simple so you have the software center where you can search for things that you may be interested in games tools I have NetBeans installed they have a lot of that here within the software center so you don't have to worry about going online going on the, on the website trying to find a reputable download for anything alright wanted to make that really simple though and throw that to your attention Linux Zorn 9 alright it's, it's a good alternative it is arguably a lot of it is arguably a better alternative than Linux Mint Cinnamon in regards to transitioning from Windows. Alright. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave a comment. And well, it's